Hello, my little woolly. In today's tutorial, you will learn how to knit the amazing wicker stitch pattern. It's pretty similar to the basket braided stitch we practiced a while ago, but this one is easier. Why? Because the crossing contains more stitches. Only two suggestions before we start. We need to work with a larger needle than the recommended on the label, one size up at least. This will create a more flexible fabric. And secondly, don't forget to block your work once it's finished. Why? Because remember, when we cross stitches, we're creating extra tension uh, on the fabric. And the blocking process relaxes the fibers. So this swatch was blocked. And if you are going to knit a scarf, a cowl, or a blanket, any piece that needs to stay flat, add a nice edge on each side of the piece. So it's not reversible. This is the other side of the work. So grab your needles, a little bit of yarn, and let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on multiples of six plus two. For example, six times two, 12 plus two, 14 stitches. Never less than 14 stitches. This number of stitches includes two edge or salvage stitches, the first and the last. So, first row, right side of the work, we're going to knit across the row, just knit every stitch. And I'm going to speed it up. When I get to the last one, only on this first row, I like to work the stitch through the back loop. Doesn't matter if it's a knit or a purl stitch. So this time we're going to knit the last one through the back loop. This way we can avoid a huge loop there. Second and every even row, just purl every stitch or purl across. And again, I'm going to speed it up for you. Third row, this is, there are only two rows where we will have some action. This is the first one. So, net the first, the edge or salvage stitch. Now knit three, one, two, three. And here comes the repeat. The repeat is what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find all my patterns on my website, sewwoolly.net. And there is a link for you below this video on the description box, just below the title of the video. So the repeat is slip three stitches onto a cable needle. You can use a stitch holder, you can use a bobby, hair bobby pin, whatever you want. So we're going to slip three stitches to the cable needle and hold at back of work. Just leave it there at the back of the work. Now knit three from the left hand needle. One, two, three. And place the three stitches from the stitch holder back onto the left hand needle. One, two, And now we're going to knit these three stitches. One, two, three. This is a right leaning cross. Every time we hold the stitches at the back of the work, the result will be a right leaning cross. That's the repeat. 
If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are four stitches left, ending with net three, one, two, three, and net the last because it's an edge stitch. Okay? Row four, just purl every stitch. Row five, net across or net every stitch. Row six, just pull every stitch. Row seven, this is the other row where the action takes place. So we start with net one, the edge or selvage stitch, and now comes the repeat. Slip three stitches onto a cable needle, one, two, three, and hold at the front of the work. Just leave them there. Net three from the left hand needle, one, Two, three, and now put these three back onto the left hand needle. One, two, and three. And net these three. One, two, That's the repeat. Let's do it again. Slip three onto a cable needle. One, two, three. And hold them at the front of the work. Knit three. One, two, three. Put those three back onto the left hand needle. One, two, three. and knit three. One, two, and three. No? That's it. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with knit one, the edge or selvage stitch. Row eight. This is the last one. We are going to purl every stitch. So that's it. These eight rows create the pattern. Repeat them until the desired length is reached. When finished, bind off four wise after row three, facing the wrong side of the work. So this is everything for today, my little woolly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting.